Hello friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and we are making some amazing Arduino based games. So I have my Arduino on my shield here that we are going to wire things into. I have for this whack-a-mole game that we're gonna make where a light lights up and we see if we successfully were fast enough. We're gonna need two white LEDs for our moles, a red and a green LED for our success or our failure lights, a couple buttons to determine if we press the mole, we're gonna need a resistor for our LEDs and some jumper cables. I have my little jumper cables and I believe that's all we are going to need. Now we made this over in Tinkercad and you can see our circuit over in Tinkercad being built. So we'll put that up there as well. Now we are gonna start by putting our white LEDs in, which are our moles. And don't forget that our LEDs, they have a long leg and a short leg. And we wanna make sure we always know where that orientation is because the short leg is gonna be the one that goes into ground. So I am going to keep that short leg towards sort of the left of my board, which over here is sort of towards this spot that has nothing in there. And I'm just going to put it in so that they are one apart. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Again, I'm gonna make sure my short leg is gonna to go towards the left hand side of my board, just like that. All right, and then next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our success and our failure LEDs. So here is my failure LED. I've got my short leg that's gonna go in, and we will plot that one right in. Again, the legs are right next to each other, always with the short leg up towards here. Here is my green LED. There's my short leg, so it's gonna go up towards this direction. And spacing-wise, maybe we want M to be sort of like this, so we've got those four LEDs going in. Next, I'm gonna add my buttons in. Now, normally we add our buttons in over this gap, but if I add them over the gap, they're actually gonna be also connected to these LEDs, and that's gonna be sort of a problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect them down below, and these buttons will connect down below. You just wanna make sure that they're sort of going, there's only three dots that they are taking over. So there's a pin and then an empty hole and then a pin. If you put it the other way, you will get like, kind of like maybe like two empty holes, but not quite. So it should go in as long as you've got like one pin, one empty hole and one pin. And then you can gently put that into your board. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And I really wanted to make this on the mini because I thought that would be sort of fun. You could like hold it and press your buttons like that. All right, so we're gonna change this wiring ever so slightly. We are going to wire our resistor into ground and then that is gonna go, we're gonna just wire all of our short legs together here. So there is a ground column in your Arduino. Right here is your ground. So you could plug a little resistor into that ground and then we can plug that into our short leg of one of our LEDs. So that's the furthest dot that I can get over towards the left, the furthest one in that row. Just make sure that's all the way in. Sometimes I like to cut these little resistors so that they're shorter, but we're gonna leave them be like that for now. Now, instead of doing four resistors into each of these, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the short legs of each of these. So I'm gonna come and grab some jumper cables. Now your jumper cables might be a little bit bigger than mine, and that's okay. Um, we just want to make sure that we get a wire from the short leg to the short leg. So I have it going from the short leg of the white and going into the short leg of the left. And because we put all of our short legs to the left, um, that's a lot easier to know where these things are. And now I'm gonna connect the short leg of the red to the short leg of the green and then the green to the white. All right, now you have probably longer cables for this and that's okay, it just makes sure that you are plugging everything into those right holes that we need them to be in. All right, and now I'm going to go again in orange, I think, from short leg to short leg. That requires three jumpers. You should have three jumpers on your board one is going to go from the white to the red, the red to the green, and the green to the white, and it's always that leftmost column that your LED is plugged into. That gives us our short legs. 
Great. So now we need to wire our um, buttons into ground. And we can do that a couple ways. I'm gonna wire my grounds together just like what we just did, but I'm also gonna wire them into the ground right here. So on the side of your Arduino, you have a whole bunch of grounds and a whole bunch of five volts, and that's only on the shield. So if you're straight into the Arduino, that won't quite work for you. But I can wire this one into ground. And let's see, I think I can do it with, maybe with gray. So I'm gonna go from the ground and I'm gonna go into sort of the column that my button has more close. So it's not in this edge column, more inside. I'm gonna go from there into ground. And then I need to go from here into this spot. And that's actually gonna be a problem because I don't have any more holes left over. So what I'm gonna do instead is I am going to take a bit of a longer one take brown. I will deliver the ground towards the middle like this and then I can take it off of here. In fact I'm going to move this one down like that. And now I can take it and feed this ground to the two buttons. And that will make it a little bit easier for me. Let's see what one fits for that. I wanted to go, maybe I just go into the outside one. Let's see. All right, I'm going to use green for my jumper wires, and that goes really nicely to this very outside piece. And then I'll use a green again. I think that will go to the outside as well. That's beautiful. Just what I want. So now my outsides are going to be in ground. I'll plug my insides into the Arduino, and I'm going to have to be a little creative about how I get access to those holes. All right, it's really important that these wires that you plugged into ground, these are all in the same column. All right, that makes sure that they are actually connected. So we have this part of the circuit wired up and now we need to wire it all into the brains of our chip, which is our Arduino, which is down below. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna wire one side. So we're gonna wire this side of our project. I'm going to use two white cables for that so that they can match and I know that this one and this button are sort of connected together. It will help me troubleshoot if I need to. So I'm going to go, I'm using this terminal of my button for the ground so I need to plug into the Arduino from the other terminal so that's this side right here. I'm going to plug it right in. Let's see, there we go. So it's going right into that hole right above that second terminal. And this one is going into pin two, it looks like, so zero, one, two. All right, you can always look on the side and make sure that your stuff lines up the way you're thinking it will. Now I'm gonna wire the long leg of my LED, that's the right hand leg, so I've got the short leg that I already wired into ground. Now I'm taking the long leg here, and I can just plug this in off that long leg column and I'm gonna plug that into pin three, which will be right next door. All right, so I've got two and three wired in. So next, let's wire in our success and failure LEDs. So I can use these red and green jumpers for that. And let's see, we'll wire the green first. So again, look for the long leg. So my short leg has these extra wires going into it because that's how we grounded everything. So my longer leg is the one that's sort of almost empty and it's on the right hand side. So I'm gonna plug into there. And then green plugs into pin four, which will be right next to where our other items have been plugged into. Red's gonna be very similar. Again, double check that you're in the column of this long leg. So any of these holes in this column will work for you. I'm gonna go right down here and then plug into pin five. All right. And the last part of our wiring is gonna be this set of moles and I'm gonna use my yellow jumpers for that. So I am going to pull it off of the long leg of the LED, which is the right hand side leg, that's this column. So any of these, this one or this one or even this one under here will all work. I'm gonna pull it from right there and that's gonna go into pin six. 
And lastly is our second button one. Here is our ground terminal right here. So we don't want to pull it off the ground terminal. We're going to pull it off of the sort of right hand, the internal terminal that's sort of towards the inside of the breadboard. And so that will be right here, going to get right under that little piece of wire there. So you can see my ground extends two columns further. And this one is going to go into pin seven on the other side. All right, and now we are all wired up and we just need to go into our Arduino IDE and add our code. All right, so you can plug this guy into the computer and then over in your Arduino IDE, you're going to take all the code that was there and you're going to delete it and paste in the code that is from the University of Wyoming. So you can get this code at the University of Wyoming or you can also get it over in our Tinkercad circuits tutorial or at patreon.com slash Rosie research. And we can upload that code to our Arduino Uno. And that is just hitting this little guy. Ooh, it looks like I am plugged into the wrong USB port. Let me take this over and plug it in to a different USB port. For some reason, it's not seeing the port that's on that side of my computer. All right, so it's done uploading. We can come on back. And then we can try to play this whack-a-mole game. Now, if I don't hit any buttons, it always tells me I didn't hit it. Oops, there we go. If I don't hit any buttons, it tells me I didn't hit it. And then you can try to be fast enough. Oh, I wasn't fast enough that time, that's for sure. If you get it just right, then it will be, you'll get the green. And as long as you see the green at least once on each side, that means your game's working. And then otherwise, you were just too slow. Thank you so much for joining us on this breadboard circuits tutorial. I hope that you guys have had a lot of fun building these Arduino games. We have a few others all inspired by the University of Wyoming, so you can check them out for the code and you can check us out for the tutorial videos. All right, have a great one friends and we'll see you soon.